Makofi mazuri ya santi Hakika wazee mmefanya vyema vizuri kwa sababu wimbo wenu unasema tuingie katika nyumba ya Mungu tukimtukuza na tukimuinua amen 
Totonyere na ivingo ne sian Jehova tokemogo saga na tokemoga adaga. Tokire ko gadanga itondo ngai ne mwega. Tokire ko neve vianga itondo ngai ne watene na tene. Na nika wengo ta senjagia. Hallelujah. Ne toko kirereria negeda. Tolie Archbishop Maru aweze kuomba kwa njili ya matoleo. Archbishop kwa neema yako baba twabariki zandaka ni njaso ya mikono ya watu wako baba kumbuka wale wanafanya kazi ya sambani baba twakuomba mvua ya mafuno baba ukumbuke wale wanavunga vitu ya ndamu iwasaidia na nyama maziwa na pesa baba kumbuka kuna wengine wanafanya kazi ya kibarua baba twakuomba uanjalie kazi permanent Mungu twa kuomba kuna wengine wanafanya kazi ya biashara. Toomba hiyo biashara sao siinuke Mungu. Baba kuna wengine wameanjiriwa mwezi. Toomba promotion. Toomba tu aman katika kazi ni mwake. Baba kibariki kila mtu. Bariki kila njaso ya mtu. Baba wengine wakanasinda kwenye wanatoa pesa. Lakini Mungu twa kuomba uwabariki wote. Wenye wametoa na wakutoa wote uwabariki Mungu. Ili siku hiyo ingine tukikutana tukutolee kwa sangwe na vigeregere. Bariki hata wageni wetu na ubariki kila mtu ako hapa. Na ni katika jina Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Tutaomba sasa tuwe na wakati wa kusoma neno la Mungu na tunao watu watatu ambao watasoma neno la Mungu. First reading, second reading, third reading. Please come and take the readings na tutaweza kuendelea kubarikiwa. He higari atene mao moja tusimame kwa somo la Zaburi tutasoma Zaburi moja, ishirini na sita Zaburi moja, ishirini na sita Psalm 126 tutasoma Bwana alipowarejeza mateka sayuni tulikuwa kama watu walioota ndoto vinywa vyetu vilijaa kicheko dimi zetu zilijaa nyimbo za shangwe ndipo iliposemwa miongoni mwa mataifa Bwana amewatendea mambo makuu Bwana ametutendea mambo makuu nasi tumejaa furaha e Bwana turejeshe watu wetu waliotekwa kama vijito katika negebu wapandao kwa machozi watavuna kwa nyimbo za shangwe yeye azichukuaye begu zake kwenda kupanda huku akilia ataludi kwa nyimbo za shangwe akichukua miganda ya mavuno yake utukufu una baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu ulivyokuwa mwanzo ulivyo sasa hata milele ni hivyo amen tuketi old testament reading is taken from the book of Joshua chapter 23 starting from verse 1 to 16 Joshua 23 from verse 1 to 16 After a long time had passed and the Lord had given Israel less from all their enemies around them Joshua by then a very old man summoned all Israel their elders rinders judges and officials and said to them I am very old you yourself have seen everything that the Lord your God has done to all these nations for your sake it was the Lord your God who fought for you 
Remember how I have rotten as an inheritance for your tribes all the land of the nations that, that remain the nations I conquered between the Jordan and Mediterranean Sea in the west. The Lord your God himself will push them out for your sake. He will drive them out before you and you will take possessions of their land as the land your God promised you. Be very strong. Be careful to obey all that is written in the book of law of Moses without turning aside to the right or to the left. Do not associate with these nations that remain among you. Do not invoke the names of their gods or swear by them. You must not observe them or bow down to them. But you are to hold fast to the Lord your God as you have until now. The Lord has driven out before you great and powerful nations. To this day, no one has been able to withstand you. One of your routes a thousand, because the Lord will go and fight for you, just as he has promised. So be very careful to love the Lord your God. But if you turn away and are yourself with the survivors of these nations that remain among you, and if you intermarry with them and associate with them, then you may be sure that the Lord your God will no longer drive out these nations before you. Instead, they will become snares and traps for you, whips on your backs and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from this good land which the Lord your God has given you. Now I am about to go the way of all the earth. You know with all your heart and soul, that not one of these good promises the Lord your God gave you has failed. Every promise have be, has been fulfilled, not one has failed. But just as all the good things the Lord your God has promised you have come to you, so he will bring on you all the evil things he has threatened until the Lord your God has destroyed you from this good land he has given you. If you violate the covenant of the Lord your God, which he commanded you, and go and serve other gods, and bow down to them, the Lord's anger will burn against you, and you will quickly perish from the good land he has given you. And that is the word of God. Our third reading comes from Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2 from verses 18 to 29. We read from Revelation chapter 2, uh, verses 18 to 29. To the angel of the land in Theatira write, These are the ones of the Son of God, whose eyes are like brazing fire, and whose feet are like burnished bronze. I know your deeds, your love, and faith, your service and perseverance, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet. By her teaching, she misled my servant into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. I, give, I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling. So I will cast her on a bed of suffering and I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely unless they repent of their ways. I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds. And I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Now I say to the rest of you in Theatira, to, to you who do not hold to her teachings and have not learned Satan's so-called deep secrets, I will not impose my any other burden on you, except to hold on what 
you have until I come. To the one who is victorious and does my will to the end, I will give authority over the nations. That one will rule them with an iron scepter I will dash, uh, and will dash them to the peace like pottery. Just as I have received authority from my, fa my father, I will also give that one the morning star. Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the church. This is the word of the Lord. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Leo, tunapo sherekea. Mea kai.